So today it will be either a disaster or a fantastic trip because I'm trying so many things at once. So this is a bike trip, the first ride of the year. It's a 50 millimeter challenge because that's the only lens I could fit in my back. And at the same time, I'm trying to carry my drone with me. I'm trying to carry my tripod and Osmo Pocket. So I'm really overwhelmed with all the equipment. So join me and let's see if we can really survive this trip. Let's go. So I didn't travel a lot, uh, just around 100 meters. Further, further down the road I found this nice spot where you have a huge panorama of all the surrounding mountains and hills uh, and uh, while this is not the best weather or actually time of the day it's it's 2 p.m. Uh, to take such photos I think this is a good spot to really visit um, on in the morning or uh, in the evening uh, during the sunset and sunrise because um, you actually could have some atmospheric uh, effects uh, that could really strengthen the, the the views however i will still take a picture i will take it with my 50 millimeter lens and i think 50 millimeter lens is great for such places because it preserves you the relations between foreground and the background and then when you look at those images later on you can actually see uh, where things are how big they are and you can really relate to the scene so i will take a couple of pictures uh, with the aperture uh, around nine I think because uh, it should be enough in terms of depth of field and this is the uh, aperture that doesn't really get into the diffraction effects that will soften the image so definitely I will take a shot eat some lunch and move forward so I have some downhill <laughs> downhill road waiting for me then I will need to come back here so let's see so I spent some time in this location and while I was experimenting a bit with different compositions, ultimately I decided that I would wait for a sunset. Here is a comparison how much the soft light changed the perception of the image just because it was a different type of lighting. So I, I do prefer the second image much more. I'm having lunch, homemade bread, freshly brewed coffee and magnificent views. It doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> I was so tired after this climb that uh, I forgot to use the real mic and I also forgot to have an English version recorded. So yeah, I, I wasn't expecting that. Huh. So I found another scenic bench. The views here are amazing, although I don't see a single photo. It's too busy. Uh, too many things happening at once. So I don't think I can actually compose anything here. There is this nice lone tree, but it's sticking out of this uh, dark forest. Let me show you. Right, so yeah, it's a, it's a lonely birch tree. I don't know, but I don't see how I can compose it. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on in the foreground. Nothing of a particular interest. There is this nice view over here, but everything is blocked. And this lone tree <laughs> doesn't really look that much attractive. So I think I'll pass. It also feels almost like uh, this journey is all about surviving the bike and the trip it's it's much too steep I, I didn't anticipate that I managed to capture a couple, couple shots here. Uh, so there are a couple things that I'm looking for in this particular scene. So the sky is completely blue, so it doesn't, ma it doesn't make sense to include it in the frame. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to uh, position those trees uh, behind me against the backdrop of the Wally. And I think with this, it looks much more interesting and you can have some multiple dimensional uh, planes 
it looks pretty cool. Here, in that direction, I am actually looking to frame the picture with this fresh greenery around here, because uh, on the other side, uh, on the hill uh, down there, there's also some greenery which has similar color like this one. I do believe that uh, all of those green trees are uh, fresh uh, beer trees that just started to uh, grow in the spring, so, so I think it will look quite good. Here is quite also nice scene behind me with those lonely trees, however, I do think that uh, they don't look particularly good in these conditions because um, of the really, really boring sky. However, I think they could look quite nice if uh, there was a sunrise or a sunset or maybe some atmospheric conditions like fog, which quite often happens here. However, the views are amazing. Uh, so I'm shooting everything with a 50 millimeter lens, which I think is really good for this type of uh, scenery. Although I wouldn't mind if I brought a 100 to 400, however, that would be much heavier and I don't think it would be convenient to lens for a bike trip. So yeah, I spent a couple minutes here. I found some compositions, not the best light in the world, but I do think that this also has a potential uh, if I want to come back uh, later because I think it's it's pretty cool there are at least two compositions here to be grabbed and a third one when conditions are uh, better so yeah let's go and see if there is another spot that uh, we can photograph I think actually this looks much better after this crazy uh, climb uh, this part was pretty flat so yeah I'm enjoying myself and I started to regain some breath so yeah all good <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Uh, the views are amazing. Uh, one thing that I don't like about this that it's that it's sticking out uh, from the horizon, so it's poking through the blue boring sky. But I will try to make like a symmetric composition. Maybe it will be enough to make it interesting. If not, I can also close uh, the view by the trees that are uh, on the right side of that. So hopefully, uh, yeah, we can we can make a nice composition. So I'm, I'm really surprised, but this is indeed a pocket camera. I can carry it in my pocket in my biking trousers, uh, bips, I don't remember how they're called. Anyway, I can put them there in the case. I put the case with an opening facing uh, outwards, so the moisture and sweat doesn't get into the lens. I've seen that uh, as a problem in my recent trip where I, I kept it in another pocket. But here on the bike, this works very well. I can also put this extra battery grip plus the small uh, scruble tripod uh, into the same pocket. So this is very, very compact package. Although I do believe that you still need to have a longer tripod. I've seen some people using different uh, light poles, uh, very compact Ulanzi light poles, I think. Uh, but uh, you need something that can put the camera higher so you can have more interesting uh, angles. <laughs> So I reached a point that I was supposed to pass and go one stop further. However, I think I'm done for today, at least in terms of uh, shooting video and biking and shooting uh, photos. I think I would just now go for a bike ride and enjoy my time in the mountains, because I think doing all those three things together doesn't really make any of those uh, things a particular pleasure. I just need to fight constantly between doing one or another uh, I'm stopping in the spots that I would normally pass 
and enjoy the ride. So I think uh, I'm done for today. I hope you, you enjoy the spots that we found. I think they are really good for another conditions. But even with today's conditions, I think I managed to get some really good pictures. I hope those advices for bright sky, uh, cloudless uh, sky, will help you to also frame your compositions uh, better and make interesting photos. Uh, thank you for joining me. I hope I will have strength to go back to my car. I hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe, like, and see you in the next one. Bye.